Neat Repeat is a free tool that allows Logic users to play fast repeated notes fluidly by reassigning a particular MIDI note on your keyboard to repeat the last note that you played. So as you can see, it opens up a lot of creative possibilities for real-time performance. This is a method of playing that already exists in certain sample libraries, such as the guitar libraries by Orange Tree Samples, but now it's possible to do it with any sample library. To install the script, use the link in the description to go to the GitHub page. From here, click the green Code button and select Download Zip. Then unzip the file and place the .pst file in the following location. Music. Audio Music Apps, Plugin Settings, Scripter. Next, in Logic, we'll load up a virtual instrument. For this example, I'll choose a marimba. Now open the Scripter by clicking in the MIDI Effects area here and choosing Scripter. In the drop-down menu, you should see Neat Repeat. If you want, you can select Save as Default to make the script show automatically when creating an instance of the Scripter. Next, I'm going to press Learn to define my repeat key. Typically, you'll want to choose a low note below the range of notes you're going to be playing, but you can set it wherever you want. We can now comfortably play repeated notes using two hands with much more control than would normally be possible at the keyboard. However, as you can see, the piano roll currently reflects what we played on the keyboard and not what we're hearing. To fix this, click the Insert slot below the scripter and select Record MIDI to Track here. Now if we record, the notes should display correctly. We have a few additional options when using the plugin. Clicking Use Original Velocity will ignore the velocity of the trigger note and instead use the velocity value of the previously played note. So now if I play and repeatedly press the repeat key, the volume of the note is consistent no matter how hard or soft I play the repeat key on the MIDI keyboard. Playing this way can make the repeats feel a bit more consistent, especially if you're more of a beginner on the keyboard. It also allows you to play a stream of notes with the same pitch and a completely even dynamic. This can be an interesting musical effect and actually quite hard to execute, at least for me, with normal playing. Clicking different channels for re-triggers sends notes played by the repeat key to a different MIDI channel. This will generally be the next channel up, so if you're on channel 1, repeats will be sent to channel 2. If you're on channel 2, it'll be channel 3, and so on. The exception is if you're on channel 16, in which case it will be sent to channel 15. This function serves two different purposes. First of all, if you have this checked and the instrument you're playing is set to receive MIDI from all channels, such as by selecting Omni Mode in Contact, then it will eliminate certain problems that can occur when overlapping notes between the right and the left hand. Without the box checked, when two notes of the same pitch are active simultaneously, the note off signal from the first note can cause the second note to get cut off prematurely, and vice versa. In practice, this isn't too much of a problem as long as when you're playing, you just have it in mind not to allow the notes to overlap. But when you enable the checkbox, the note off information for the played note and the repeated note exist in two different channels, so they don't affect each other. This means you can be a bit more reckless when you play. The second purpose for the checkbox is more creative. You can trigger a different articulation or a different instrument entirely on the note repeats. For example, here I have the second instrument filtered, which makes the repeated notes a bit more subtle and adds an interesting additional colour. Now the repeats feel more in a supportive role. Or I could choose a different articulation for the repeats, giving me access to another tone on the fly, which I can use for moments of emphasis. A few limitations and known issues. This script is still very much in a beta stage, and the two main bugs you're likely to run into are notes getting cut off or sounding quieter on the repetition, and hanging MIDI notes. 
The first issue I already mentioned previously and seems to be related to overlapping notes on the keyboard. You might experience this issue even when checking the box that says different channel for retriggers and setting your instrument to Omni. Um, notably, I found this was happening with Cinematic Studio Strings and Trillion. And here the workaround was to create another instance of the instrument inside the multi and set each instrument's channel manually to one and two. As for hanging notes, they usually occur when playing quickly and the notes get extended both in the playback and on the piano roll. Starting and stopping playback will clear the hanging notes and if it happens when recording you can always adjust the MIDI data manually but obviously it's not ideal and we'd like to work to improve this aspect in the future. Again, if as you're playing you're just aware of trying to not allow the notes to overlap, this does improve the performance of the script quite a bit. Generally speaking, both of these issues are more of a problem if you're working with sounds that have a natural sustain, like a piano or a wind instrument. If you're really good at code and you'd like to help iron out some of these issues, then do leave a message in the comments or get in touch. Right now, even with these two issues and the imperfect nature of the script, I think it'd still be useful to some people, which is why I decided to make it available. Feel free to share the script with anybody who you think might find it useful. Neat Repeat was the result of a commission which I put out on the teammates Discord server, aimed at solving a problem that I was facing with my own MIDI programming, where playing repeated notes was just very awkward to do. It was created by Adam Adams. You can check out a link to his other work in the description below. We hope that by making the code freely available on GitHub, the script might continue to evolve and be improved upon over time. Grab the script from the link in the description, have fun with it, happy composing, and I'll see you on the next video.